Do you know if having less rotis and adding a vegetarian source of protein like paneer actually helps in reducing the sugar spike? Let's find out. In today's meal, I've reduced the number of rotis from 4 to 2. I've kept the amount of arad ki dal and besan ke tinde the same. And I've added 150 grams of paneer ki bhurji. This entire meal is about 850 calories. Let's see if the added proteins and fats make any difference to the sugar spike. I really like paneer ki bhurji. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 22 mg increase. What an amazing result. This means that reducing rotis and adding paneer is just as effective as adding eggs because when I had done that, my blood sugar levels had increased by 20 mg. This is about the same. Clearly the proteins and fats in paneer were just as effective as controlling the sugar spike as the proteins and fats in eggs. And this is great news because now I have a choice. You know in the past many times I've reduced rotis and had mudal and sabzi thinking that it will reduce the sugar spike. But clearly that doesn't work because when I had done that, my blood sugar levels had increased by 40 mg. Which is about the same as when I had 4 rotis. No reduction. Forward this video to anyone who may benefit from this.